A high stakes football game for Southern Illinois with selection Sunday for the condensed 16 team FCS playoffs tomorrow and SIU searching for their first playoff berth since 2009. Salukis host Southeastern Louisiana in a 17-18 ranked matchup where a loss today almost guarantees no playoff chances. Southern Illinois plays their first game since March 27th. Today's contest was an absolute battle from start to finish. Lions scored on the first drive, followed by the Salukis on their first drive. Back-to-back -back scoring seemed to be the theme of the day. In the high-scoring affair, the two teams shattered about every stadium offensive record. The Salukis O-line mauled the Lions with 423 rushing yards, programs most against a Division I opponent since 2006. Stone Labanowitz used every weapon in his arsenal, throwing for 328 yards and two touchdowns. Javon Williams had a passing touchdown of his own, hitting Jacob Garrett for a 56-yard touchdown. Garrett, the guy who literally has two broken hands, managed to catch for six more points on the board. SIU head coach Nick Hill talking about the team's next man up mentality, making no excuses and getting the job done. Well, the Salukis certainly did that today. SIU sets a school record with 807 yards of total offense and only trailed once to beat out Southeastern Louisiana 55-48 to keep playoff hopes alive. We didn't only just play. We had lower level opponents say that we would play. We went out and found the best opponent that we could. Uh, and we put it on the line again. Look, we could have been having this press con conference and been four and four. Nobody was scared of that result. You know, uh, I told the guys in the huddle every time, like, you guys are doing this right now. I'm talking to the five offensive linemen and, and Jacob Garrett or Levi Mitchell, yeah. who, who is everything. I'm like, you guys are doing this. Like, look what you're doing. I don't know what we've rushed for. I don't know what we've thrown for. But finish this game on, put a cherry on top because you guys, you guys earned it. Now the big question looms was today's victory and the three other ranked wins the Salukis have had this season enough to convince the FCS selection committee to vote SIU in as one of the 16 teams to compete in the playoffs. That field is announced tomorrow at 1030 a.m. on ESPNU. We'll let you know tomorrow at 5 p.m. if SIU receives an at-large bid.